Beneath the familiar surface of our world lies an enchanted earth, a realm not of magic wands and fairy dust, but of profound, life-saving dedication. This is the hidden world of insect and animal rescuers, individuals who serve as guardians at the crossroads of human expansion and wild habitats. Their work begins with a secret language, the ability to read the subtle signs of distress, a bird stunned by a window, a bee too waterlogged to fly, or a hedgehog tangled in litter. They are the first responders to a crisis often unseen by the rest of us. Elephants mourn their dead. They will touch and revisit the bones of deceased companions. They display complex emotions like joy, grief, compassion, and even humor. An elephant's trunk has around 40,000 muscles used for breathing, smelling, touching, grabbing, and trumpeting. Elephants are herbivores. Donkeys have excellent memories they can recognize places, and other donkeys they haven't seen in years. Donkeys can carry up to 30% of their body weight and pull even more they've been used as pack animals for centuries. Donkeys form strong bonds with other donkeys, animals, or humans. Lonely donkeys can become sad or depressed. Donkeys are highly intelligent, not stubborn. They're just careful and cautious by nature. Leopards are highly adaptable and can live in forests, mountains, grasslands, and even deserts. Leopards are mostly solitary and territorial animals. They are primarily active at night, nocturnal, hunting and patrolling their territory. Leopards often drag their prey up into trees to keep it safe from scavengers like hyenas. Leopards eat a wide range of animals, deer, antelope, birds, monkeys, and even fish. Goats were among the first animals to be domesticated over 10,000 years ago in the Middle East. Goats are strictly herbivores. They eat grass, leaves, shrubs, bark, and weeds, but not trash, despite the myth. Goats have horizontal rectangular pupils. This gives them wide peripheral vision to spot predators. Goats are ruminants. They chew cud to help digest tough plant material in a four-chambered stomach. Moose are strong swimmers and can swim up to six miles, 10 kilometers, without stopping. They can even dive up to 20 feet, 6M, underwater to feed. Moose are often found near lakes, rivers, and wetlands where they can access aquatic plants and cool off. Moose can be very dangerous, especially if threatened or during rutting season. Collisions with vehicles are a serious concern due to their size and height, 10 kilometers, without stopping. Cheetahs are the fastest animals on land. They can run up to 70 miles per hour. 113 kilometers per age in short bursts. Cheetahs have long legs, a slim body, and a long tail that acts like a rudder to help them turn quickly while chasing prey. Cheetahs can only run at full speed for about 20 to 30 seconds. After that, they need to rest running back fast to a lot of Cheetahs are endangered. There are only about 7,000 cheetahs left in the wild today. 
mostly in Africa, cheetahs are the fastest animals on land. They can run up to 70 miles per hour. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure including a queen, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees perform a dance to communicate the location of flowers, water, or new nest sites. Honeybees are responsible for pollinating around one-third of the food we eat, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. The buzzing comes from the rapid beating of their wings about 200 times per second. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure including a queen, worker bees, and drones. Scorpions glow blue-green under ultraviolet UV. Light due to chemicals in their exoskeleton. Scorpions give birth to live young, unlike many other arachnids. Newborn scorpions ride on their mother's back until their first molt. Scorpion venom is being studied for cancer treatments, pain relief, and brain tumor detection. Spiders play a crucial role in controlling insect populations, making them important for ecological balance. Spiders inject digestive enzymes into their prey and suck up the liquefied insides. Most spiders are solitary and predatory, feeding mainly on insects. Spiders produce different types of silk for different purposes. Webs, egg sacs, wrapping prey, etc. Snakes are reptiles. They belong to the order Squamata and are closely related to lizards. Snakes can consume prey much larger than their heads because their jaws are connected by very stretchy ligaments. Snakes live in forests, deserts, oceans, like sea snakes, and even urban areas. They eat rodents, birds, eggs, frogs, fish, Butterflies cannot chew solid food. They have a long, straw-like proboscis that acts as their tongue. It stays coiled up under their head until they find a liquid meal like nectar, rotting fruit, or tree sap, at which point they unroll it to drink. This behavior is called puddling. Dragonflies are living fossils. They existed long before the dinosaurs, with fossil records dating back over 300 million years. The prehistoric ancestors of today's dragonflies, like Meganeura, had wingspans of up to 2.5 feet, 75 centimeters. They can hover in place for up to a minute, Lions are carnivores and apex predators. They mainly eat large animals like zebras, wildebeest, and buffalo. Lions are classified as vulnerable by the IUCN due to habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and poaching. Lions are the only truly social cats. They live in groups called prides. A pride usually consists of related females, their offspring, 
and one three adult males. and an encyclopedic knowledge of the creatures they strive to protect. They see the individual life where others might see only a bug or a nuisance, recognizing that every creature, from the tiniest beetle to the fledgling hawk, holds a vital thread in the tapestry of our ecosystem.